beats. All How right. You uh, how'd you wind up here at this Fashion for a Cause night? Oh, uh, man, you know, I'm always in the middle of doing great things for people. I'm a very given person and um you know when i got the call i was a little busy but you know i'm never too busy to make time for people in need um and you know it's, it's a no-brainer it's just a great cause and i'm happy to be here no well, you know it's really impressive that your character is like that because so many people they they get to where you're at and then they don't give back and they don't remember anything absolutely absolutely how do you deal with all the fame i mean so much i mean just even being here everyone's talking about you know the cause but also swiss beats is here swiss beats is here <laughs> well you know um Fame is, fame is a word, and um, I don't let particular words run my life. Me, I live by just being a humble person, being an honest person, and being the best person that I can be. I don't really have a title on, um, on anything that I do. It's just practicing positive energy and doing positive things. And so I just like to surround myself around those things. You know, fame come and go. You know, being a great person always stay. Making history always stay, so I try to stay in those lines. Yeah. You got to be true to yourself, and nobody could ever take that away. Absolutely. Now, with, with your, your ability, your, your incredible talent, when did you realize that? I mean, you started at 16, but did you ever, like, you know, in the sandbox, just start messing around with the sand and some sticks and say, well, wait, I'm good at this? Well, you know, I grew up in the South Bronx, and um, music was always around me. Art was always around me. You know, I was surrounded by um, Molly Mom. Um, KRS One. I was surrounded by Keith Herring, you know, doing graffiti on the backdrops of the handball courts, and um, you know, I wanted to be a rapper, but I never was a rapper. I, I was, um, I started off as a DJ, and then all of a sudden got into producing. I never planned on being a producer, and it like just happened overnight. And um, 270 million records. I'm here. You know. That was million. Yeah, by the way. Well, not just that. I mean, think about it. You're in movies, and I mean, what are, you're the official music ambassador for peace for the United Nations, something yeah. like that? Yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. You, I mean, you're on top of your job. Yeah, no, I mean, you're the real thing. And Thank you. You've been here giving back, but I mean, think about it. What, the United Nations music ambassador for peace? Yes, absolutely. He's not just global on your uh, radio and on yeah. your TV and in your film theaters. Yeah. This guy's at the UN. Yeah, so, we're trying. Yeah. Now, um, I grew up actually next to Lauren Hill in West Orange. Oh, actually, okay. South Orange at the time. Okay, yeah, shout out. a couple out. blocks away. Yeah. Yeah, so um, how did you know that this was what you were meant to do? Was there one day where you said, you know what, this has to happen? You, know, um, was, you said it was music in the neighborhood, but... Um, when I knew that this was, this was a spot for me was when, you know, the kids started following me and following my career and when I can go into schools and you know, change kids' behavior and change them into more of an educational direction, more than a street direction or a, uh, or a gang direction. I said, you know what, you know, this power that, I, that God has given me is giving me power to help other people, help other kids do the right thing. On a large scale. I, on a huge scale. You know, I have a school that I adopted in the Bronx, the Bronx Arts, and, um, you know, we... You know, we have villages in Africa, I mean, from the United States, all around the world. You know, this gift that I have, I just try to use it in a positive way. And I'm like, okay, well, they're going to they're gonna listen to this. I got to continue doing this because it's something that, you know, the youth is listening to. So I have to be a positive role model. Even when negativity strikes, you still have to stay focused and be positive. Because it's easy for this world to be negative, but you have to live your lane in a positive lane, you know. Yeah. So, just one last question. When did you become Swiss Beats from the other name, the yeah. birth name? Um, you know, I started off once again in the South Bronx wearing K-Swiss sneakers. Uh -huh. And um, I stopped wearing K-Swiss sneakers, but everybody was still calling me K-Swiss. So then I just made it, okay, forget the K, I'm just Swiss. And then um, I became a DJ, so I was DJ Swiss. Then I was a producer, then I'm Swiss Beats. But then I said, okay... I'm far from wearing K-Swiss sneakers, so I'm going to spell it S-W-I-Z-Z-B-E-A-T-Z. -Z. I started Beats, B-E-A-T-Z. Now, everybody spelled Beats with a Z. Thank you. And um, that's how I started out. Oh, well, I love the story of that. And it's an honor and a pleasure, sir. I admire everything you do. The Swiss Beats, we're doing it live. You're watching Chance TV. Stay tuned in. It's showtime. Yeah.